this. Yeah. Um, we're here, it's Harlow and Chelsea. So guys, we have arrived. Look guys, that is a pond and you might see a little pony in the background. Oh my goodness. And this is where we are going to be staying for the next three days. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Hi guys, I'm Harlow. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I am on a luxurious staycation in the New Forest. And wow, we've just been for a little tour and it is absolutely amazing. There are two wonderful dogs, a cat, and look at this amazing pond. There's even a boat over there and some, I think they're oars. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing those wrong, but we are hopefully gonna be going on those and fingers crossed that none of us fall off because I don't wanna be going in pond water. But anyways, I'm going to unpack all of my stuff that we've brought and I'm going to give you a little tour of my room. So let's go. So guys, whilst I'm here, I'm going to be showing you a lot more of the new forest. And not only are you guys gonna be seeing a lot more of the new forest, I'm going to be seeing a lot more of the new forest. Hey, Mocha! Hey! Oh, you've been running through bushes and you've got sticky balls all in your hair. So this isn't actually my dog. This is the dog that lives here. And how cute is she? Do you want me to throw it? Drop. You take it? The girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mocha! <laughs> so first of all there's a lovely pond there and right next to it there are some lovely lovely ponies there's one called cream cracker which is a miniature little shetland then there's one called Pr one called prince charming and that is a massive 14 2 gray and it is absolutely adorable so there's also a little one called Chelsea. And if you didn't know, that is my mum's name. So we've got Chelsea the pony and my mum. So that's very cool. So actually, I haven't been this way before, but it is really, really, really amazing. There's this little bridge. Oh. <laughs> and there are the ponies. <laughs> Wait, no, down. Look how cute they are. Look how cute this little pony is. Let's see if I can get in. Oh, look how cute. Oh, you're adorable. Oh, there's a couple of flies. My brother is coming here later and he is going to absolutely love this pony. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Right, I think it's time. I don't want to knock you on the head. Two, go. Mocket is absolutely obsessed with me, but yeah, yes. I think it's time to show you guys the swimming pool. Also, the weather forecast is amazing, so that is unbelievable. It's also an indoor swimming pool, and there are two hot tubs, so that is amazing. So. gonna go around here and there's a little outdoor barbecue area here and there's one of the hot tubs so there is the hot tub oh I can already feel steam coming up my face but yeah it is absolutely massive oh it's so lovely and warm oh wow. okay Whoa. Right, <laughs> there's another outdoor like seating area over here. Couple more barbecues. There's also a little mini pond over here, which is so cute. There might be fish in here. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's fish are in there or not. <laughs> then coming through to in here, is the swimming pool. Now, how cool is this, guys? There are two, like, bouncy inflated beds there, which are really nice. And this is actually quite, like, a unique pool. So it's nice and shallow over there. It goes for, like, a 
ramp and then it stays flat then it goes through another ramp up so that is very unique and cool but yeah there's loads of pool floaties over there there is another hot tub let's see Oh, that one was a little bit easier, but this one's a little bit smaller, but it is like all built in, which is absolutely amazing. That is really cool. Okay, so we've got some lovely lounges here. There are two, four, six. There are six lounges all together. There are plenty and plenty of pool floaties. So also, let me show you guys the kitchen and this decking is all waterproof. There's also a couple of chairs there. There's some towels and this little life boy. Me and Harlan are gonna have so much fun in this pool. It's gonna be amazing. There we go, mum has managed to do the lights, but we've got a lovely kettle here. We've got some drawers there, salt and pepper, a cooker here some storage cabinets, a microwave. Oh, it's a little bit like an oven. That's cool. Normally microwaves open like that, but this is a little bit like an oven. That is really cool. Just general kitchen stuff, a sink, cutlery and everything. Let me show you the room. And coming into here, down this alleyway, is our home for the night. Well, the next three nights. I'm gonna just take my shoes off there. It's so nice and up here, guys. So, this is our home for the next three nights. So guys, over here we have a lovely, lovely bathtub. Then we've got the dining table, the bedroom. And then I haven't actually tested out these these um, lounge, well, the sofas, whatever you would like to call them. But they are pretty comfortable. Oh my gosh, this pillow is amazing. Oh my God, I'm falling in love with this sofa already. Oh, I could go to sleep here now. Got a nice big TV over there. Lots of magazines, like storage. Oh, we've got some board games in there. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Let's see what else are in these magical drawers. That's just nothing. More board games. We've been having a movie night tonight. Loads of board games. Dog bingo. Look how fun that looks, guys. That is going to be very fun. It's quite heavy, that. I'm intrigued to see what's inside that. Right, for the bed review. Get a run up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's like memory foam, you sink into it. Oh my gosh, I wanna fall asleep. This is so comfortable. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. All right, let me just straighten up that bed. We even have a bath in our room, which is just so nice and unique. It's quite extra actually to have a bath in your room, but it is really nice. You've got some nice like memory foam mat over here, which I'm assuming is waterproof. So that's nice. When we come out, we're not stepping on hard concrete wood. We've got a mini kitchen over here with the fridge. <laughs> where we've got a little bit of milk for mum to make her coffees in the morning. Um, this table is love, lovely. Oh, I can have breakfast here in the morning. For some reason, this table reminds me of white bread with honey on it, toasted for some reason. I don't know, it just gives me that smell and that feel to it. It's really nice. Right, right, let's go actually start getting the things in, otherwise we are going to be here all day. So I'm gonna go see Popcorn now because I am bursting to see him because I haven't seen him for a couple of days now. But yeah, when we get back, I'm going to show you the rest of the like estate thing because there are actually a lot more bits that I need to show you. There's the stables, the arena, the tennis court and the gym. So there are four things, four things that I still need to show you. But anyways, let's go see Popcorn first because I am dying to see him because I haven't seen him for it feels like three years, but let's go see him. So you guys, stay tuned for the rest of the video because there's going to be a bit more of a tour.
Let's go. So guys, we have arrived at the yard and that was an extremely short drive. Um, me and mum were not used to having a drive that short. So that was about five, 10 minutes, which was a little bit unexpected. Hey, popcorn. Hello, baby. Yeah, look what we got you. We picked you brand new brow band up to jazz up your brows a little bit because I've been wanting, well, I've been wanting a nice brow band for a long time now. Guys, look at that. That looks amazing. Popcorn, look at this. That matches with his colour so well. Oh, it's just a, look at it. It's so shiny. Oh, you've even got a little bit of feed on your leg. Oh, look at that. So I'm gonna have a little ride tonight. Then after that, we're gonna go back to the holiday home and meet Harlan and Nanny and hopefully have a little swim if I'm not tired. So if not, I'll have one tomorrow because that'll be a, a definite. Oh, good boy. Oh, is that a fly? We are absolutely so lucky in England to be getting this amazing but blinding weather. We do not normally get this in England. It's either rain or hail in England normally. So this is an absolute dream. So I am going to make every single moment of it as I can possibly can. <laughs> So I'm just going to walk up the lane and back, give him a little bit of a warm up. Then we're going to pop in the school. I'm going to take it quite easy because we've got a pony club rally tomorrow. So I don't want to completely tire him out, but I don't want to not work him enough that he's going to have a complete shock tomorrow. So yeah, because he hasn't been ridden for a couple days now. So I just absolutely love it around here. It's so peaceful. Is that your food, buddies? Is that your food? Oh my God, the other day we had an absolute disaster. So if you didn't know, Popcorn is in a field with a big bay and another 13 to um, basically like Popcorn and they're all best buddies. They get along really, really well. And the other day um, they were both brought in and we didn't know that my trainer put her horse out in that, in that field um, and Guess what? <laughs> hey Zach! Hey Zach! So her beautiful dressage amazing bay, which is gelded but he is still very stally very stallion like, was in Popcorn's field. Popcorn has a bay in Popcorn's Popcorn has a bay in his field. But Zach, the little 13-2, was brought in. We didn't know that the bay that is in there right now was brought in as well. So we just thought, oh, Zach's brought in. That's the mare that's, or that's always in there. No, it was my trainers. Basically, we put Popcorn out in the field with the wrong horse. And they were like, no, 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 don't put Popcorn in there. They were like, get him out, get him out. So we got completely confused by the big bays because, well, we won't be doing that again. We're always going to check from now on. But all of these bays look the same, especially if they don't have many markings. Because the mare that's in that field, I think she only has a star. Um, and I don't really pay much attention to her legs, but I don't really actually examine her legs to look if she's got any markings. Um, and well, I never really examine anyone's legs. I do with you though, because you get poo stains all down them, well, especially on your white socks and your popcorn. You're not allowed in that massive, like, lovely, open, lush field. Oh, wowzers guys, look at this. That would be amazing to go through. That would be an absolutely amazing field to gallop popcorn through, but I'm a little bit worried if there's any holes, because you can't really see. If there was just a little hole, and it was about, say, that deep, if popcorn was to put his leg down that, then continue galloping, he'd maybe do a barrel roll, or he would completely break his leg. And I don't want neither of those to happen got to be so careful. So I've just finished my little ride and Popcorn's legs are actually quite veiny. I think those little legs were working very hard. He's just munching on 
some freshly steamed hay, but he was absolutely amazing. He might not have worked the best that he's ever worked, but to me he was absolutely amazing. So we're all done at the yard, I've tidied everything away, and we'll be back up here in the morning to see my lovely boy put on. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm so excited for this week. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's get going. Bye, popcorn. <laughs> he always pokes his little nose through the bars. Right, now I have popcorn. So my Harlan and my nanny have arrived. They're just playing in the pool now. And yeah, I actually wanna go back in there. So we've got a really, really busy day today. We're going to the beach. We're going to see and ride popcorn. We're gonna walk down to Burley because we didn't actually know, but where, right where we are, Burley is about a 15 minute walk. So we're gonna have a nice ice cream from Burley, which is I think popcorn's favorite place, the ice cream shop. He absolutely loves Mr. Whippies. So yeah, there's also an extremely nice smelling sweet shop. Every time I go in there, I'm like, oh, I just love the smell of it. It smells like so cheery and bright and clean, whatever. And sugary for another word. This is just day one of this vacation. We have got so much planned. Wait till the next two days and it, we are going to have so, so much planned. It is going to be absolutely amazing. So guys, we have just left the house to go to the beach and that's the first thing that we're gonna do for our activities today. Um, I'm also very, 
very, very excited because it is 29 degrees today and for Australia and Dubai and all those really, really hot countries, you're probably getting your woolly jackets on and your scarves on because this is probably absolutely freezing for your kind of countries if anyone lives in those countries and they're watching. But for England, we're getting our shorts and t-shirts on because this is, this is absolutely boiling, isn't it, Harlan? Yeah. We've got Harlan with us. Um, we're not going to go with popcorn to the beach today. My mum did put something on my Instagram saying if you n live near the near forest and your horse likes the beach, um, you can come with us. So that would be very nice if someone does come because popcorn, he doesn't really like going on his own to like the beach and places like that. He like, like the lake, the swimming river. I'm just going to call it a river. Um, I think it was a lake, but I'm calling it a river. Like the river. He, We tried the first time, didn't want to go in. Tried the second time and he wanted to go in. Um, it's because there's another horse um, or pony there. So, yeah, that will be really fun if we find someone to go with us tomorrow. But, yeah. So, we're just on the way to the beach. It's a fast activity. Probably said that all. Um, but it's only about a 10 minute drive from our like staycation room hotel thing but yeah it's not that far away I haven't I don't think have we ever been to this beach before no we've never been to this one before so I'm very very intrigued to see what it looks like so yeah I'll show you in a minute when we get there so guys we have just arrived and it is absolutely amazing. You can literally see the sea for absolute miles. Beach. Yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it, Harlan? Yeah. Harlan there. Oh my gosh, the view is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, guys, do you think this is literally like South France? We haven't even had to get a plane. We had to just drive 10 minutes to get here and it is absolutely amazing. Let's go. So guys, we have arrived and look at this amazing view. It is absolutely insane. I think we'd rather uh, go here than our local beach. It's so beautiful. Right, I think we should head down because I can't wait. I just want to go down. <laughs> oh, Harlan, don't, 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 no, 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 no. I don't want him falling off the cliff. That is a cliff there. Harlan, that's a cliff. Please step away from there. That is a death falling cliff. <laughs> and I don't want to lose someone today, okay? <laughs> this is it. It literally looks like we're on holiday and we're in our home country. I didn't even know this actually existed. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh, do you want to hold my hands? Because I can't trust you and I don't want to lose you today. We've got a little ice cream parlor over there, then a restaurant. Oh, I'm gonna maybe see what's in the menu because I am a little bit hungry. Oh, there's a wind is blowing hair all in my face. I know I can just do this. <laughs> Probably not the best idea as we are about to go down a cliff. There's a rock here, so I'm not going to fall over. Wait, Harlan, don't run in case you do slip off the edge. But wow. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely beautiful. Mm. All right, let's go down. Got some little scenic steps here. Mind the forms. Down, down. Don't go too fast, Harlan, in case you go head first. Can you guys see that over there is the Isle of Wight? Now, have I ever been there? I don't think I have. So I'm put that on my bucket list. Oh wow, those waves are pretty big. Harlan, we are not going in the sea today, sorry. <laughs> Harlan, do you feel like you're on holiday? Yeah. Well, we aren't. This is England. This is somehow in England. <laughs> do you like the Maldives or the New Forest? Maldives. Oh, do you like popcorn or the Maldives? Yay! And of course, I have to love popcorn more. 
Cornwall. I love Pop Cornwall. I'm his mummy. No, I'm his mummy. So look at that amazing view. The sun is glistening onto the waters. It's just beautiful. I've just realised, is the sand called the sand? Because it's halfway through the land and the sea, which makes sand. I don't know. So over there we have Muddyford. I've have I been to Muddy? Yeah, I I have been to Muddyford. Then over there, above Harlan's head, we have the Isle of Wight. My mum just said we can get an ice cream, so we don't actually know what's on the menu. So it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. Ice cream menu. Oh, I want that one. It's around here. Yeah. We're looking for ice cream, not toys. So they've got the new forest ice cream. They've got vanilla pod, strawberry, chocolate, choc chip cookie dough, mink choc chip, black berry clotted, clotted cream, honey and fig. Salted caramel, something ginger, rum and raisin, rhubarb, and I never knew a rhubarb ice cream existed. Um, coffee, and then there's a coffee and mocha swirl. So I'm gonna get the choc chip cookie dough. What do you want, Harley? Do you want the vanilla, strawberry, chocolate? Uh, Chip, chip, chocolate, chip, cookie dough, mint chocolate. Oh, does that look yummy? Yeah. What flavour have you got, Harlan? Chocolate. Yeah. If, you, if you're busy with something else in the restaurant, then and what are you going there. for, Harlow? Then you can go. I'm going for the choc chip cookie dough. I was going to go for um, the mint chocolate chip, but that's sold out. Everyone likes mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Um, can I please have a choc chip cookie dough, please? One scoop. Of course. Did you want chocolate flake with it? Um, yes, please. Sure. Look at our pizza. Holly, look at our pizza. Do you want some? There. So we are at the Tuesday Glen Hotel. And this is their delicious pizza. <laughs> and have the gigantic piece. But we can't have all of it. No, no, you, no, you need to rip some off. <laughs> no, 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 you can't have all of it. You need to rip some off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, Okay. It's a tiny bite. <laughs> ah! No, that was a tiny bite, so I'm gonna eat the whole bit. No. Well, I get a tick, Harlan, so you need to piggyback me. Mm. Oh. <coughs> oh! Okay. So, because Harlan has forgotten his shoes in the car, um, we're. <laughs> no! Get it! Ah! <coughs> right, you got it? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a struggle to get back up. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 oh, whoa. Okay. Mm. Oh. We're good. I can hear some goats. So we're going to investigate. Come on, Henry. <gasps> so Henry and Harry, and Hannah's the big one, and Valentino's the little fluffy one. What is that? Is there a horsey in there? Is that what, sorry? Horses. No, that's where the sheep go at night. So we've just come over and found out that you can walk the sheep. That is very cool. Um, it's because they're normally in the show ring because they're show sheep, but no, they're allowed to be taken on walks. And we've been here a couple times and they weren't here. Yeah. But now they've got a lovely enclosure and they get to go on land walks, which is amazing. What, sheep walks? 
Ya. Yeah. Also, let me show you this courtyard. It is amazing. It's filled with flowers and veg. Look at this, guys. It's their own, like, garden, basically. And look how, like, well-grown all of this is. Cauliflower. Oh, my gosh. We actually at my school have an allotment, um, but it is nowhere near as big as this. Um, um, it's probably from that end to that end. I really enjoy growing stuff though. I've grown carrots, potatoes. Some years we even do a potato show off where we plant potatoes at the start of the year. Then at the end of the year, we um, we harvest them all back up and we see which form because there are two classes in all of the year groups so we see which class out of the two get um made the best potatoes so that's a cool thing that we do oh my gosh look at all of these amazing flowers they don't look real but they are somehow they look absolutely amazing you can see all the birds and butterflies buzzing around it's amazing so this is a kitchen garden and i actually think those are going to be sunflowers so that is really cool and then look at this it is absolutely amazing like you're all covered up and it's just really nice yeah but i just absolutely love this place it's all homegrown and it's just absolutely amazing this is a really really nice hotel i definitely definitely recommend coming here because i've been here a couple times now and i just can't get enough of it it is absolutely amazing now we are going to go head back um wait no we're going to go see popcorn and then on the way there i think we're mummy and nanny, nanny are going to get an ice cream but yeah we might um go back to the sweet shop and get a couple, you know, sweets. Come on, Harlan. Do you want to go see popcorn or the sweets? Yeah. Which one? Popcorn or sweets? Popcorn. Sweets. Popcorn is a sweet, though. It's a sweetie. In more the ways than one. Yeah. <laughs> ah, my shoe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Pardon, I think those are door stops. What? Yeah, they're door stops. Oh. We've just moved destination now and now we are in Burley Hello, Village boys. and we're having a look around all of the different shops. Oh. So yeah, which one do you like, Harlan? This one looks most like popcorn. This one looks best. This one's popcorn. So we've got a Burley Fudge shop there. We've got a little gift shop there. Then we've got Bur Burley Stall. I think there's pastries in there. Oh look, they've got loads of different New Forest ice creams there. That little cottage is so cute. Got like a music shop. A bike here oh it's a bike hire cool okay so this is the burly sweet shop okay oh i can finally take my sunglasses off what do you want darling um can i get these Okay, I'm gonna get those. We, I've just bought this little um, bag. We didn't really buy anything else. Harlan was touching a couple bits and bobs. Um, and you, there's a rule that you can't really touch that much stuff. You have to look and then buy it. So yeah, we just got these. But it's really hard to tell a five-year-old not to touch sweet bags in a sweet shop when you're kind of like meant to choose what you want. But yeah we just got these so we're gonna head to this ice cream shop my mum my nan are gonna get an ice cream then we're gonna go head to the stables 
and see popcorn. Well, I think we're going to see popcorn and my mum's going to get the trailer because we've got um, a pony club thing. So popcorn's going to go to the beach tomorrow with another pony. So we found someone to go with, which was amazing. So this is what my mum has chose. It's very colourful. I kind of want one now. <laughs> Do you want one? Yeah. Uh, you sure? There's my queue now. We literally live right over there now. Um, please may I get, um, what is it mum? The strawberries and the whipped cream please. The fully loaded one. No, with no sauce. No sauce. Let's do chocolate sauce. Yeah, chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce? Yeah. Like a wafer? Um, yes please. Yeah. without treats. I don't think it is. Mm. So guys, we are at the stables. Uh, sorry I, if I'm shouting a little bit, the engine is just on. But we are at the stables and popcorn is literally in the shelter. We were driving up and oh my gosh, I'm just walking up to the field. But yeah, he's just come out the shelter. I think it's because he saw me. Yeah, he's right over there, but he's not coming anymore. So let me just show you guys him. Hey, Popcorn! He's got all of his other field friends in there. I think it was getting a little bit too hot for them. I mean, it is really hot. Anyways, hopefully he's not too dirty because, as I said, we've got a pony club rally today. Hey, popcorn. Hi. All right, we've got one popcorn. I'll do a little cleanness um, check when... I'll do a little cleanness check to make sure, you know, he's not too dirty. Guys, I'm just about to walk out the gate and look how hard the floor is all of the moisture has been taken out of this little patch but yeah right time for your little cleanness review first of all i'm seeing popcorns who's a quick dusty and dry there are a couple bits of hair just like loose bits coming off him his button is not too bad and then his face is very clean yes his nose is squishy as, as usual Guys, I'm just walking back from the field. We're almost back to the um, like courtyard area. So today we are off to Pony Club. I think I've mentioned that a couple of times. So we've got a jumping rally today, which is going to be very exciting. Um, we need to get popcorn looking his best because we're on a holiday. Of course, we forgot my Pony Club clothes. So I'm having to just... Um, Oh, all that dust coming off your foot, but I'm having to just wear my grey Lemure set. Hopefully, um, no one notices. Probably will. You are allowed to wear allowed to wear grey joppers though. You're allowed to wear navy or navy or black joppers. It's kind of navy and black. It's just a little bit lighter. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> I won't be surprised if we turn up and they say. We can't participate because I'm not wearing the pony club uniform. But, you know, it'll be a little bit disappointing if they do, but hopefully they won't. It'll be a little bit mean, but, because Popcorn does love his jumping. 
and he'd be very disappointed. And we would have made all that effort to get there in the trailer. So guys, Popcorn is all loaded up. He's in the trailer and now we're about to go. We're in the car, it's all go, 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 go. So today it is a show jumping rally and we have to do three rallies to do the pony camp. I don't know if I've mentioned it about before, but we're gonna be doing a pony camp in, is it two? Pony, pony club camp. Pony club camp in two weeks. So yeah, we need, this is our third um, rally. So then we can go to pony club camp after that, which is in two weeks. Yeah, so basically if we didn't go today, we wouldn't be going to pony club camp, which is, that'll be tragic. So a rally is basically like a training session and we're gonna be doing like a little bit of show jumping today. Also, if you don't know, Popcorn never eats when he's traveling. He likes to be extremely nosy and poke his nose out the window and look at every single passing thing going by. He's basically going along looking backwards. Oh, oh look at that bay. Oh my God, look at them. It looks like they're waiting for the bus. Oh, that's so cute. They're all snoozing in the sun. Right, I'm gonna close the window and stop looking at adorable cute new forest ponies. I just absolutely love the new forest. They're just, just there's so many like free roaming wild creatures and it does it just makes that really special that like there's no horses being tied up and it's just really good they get to roam wherever they want and there's loads and loads of lush grass for them and it's just really nice. Yeah, right, what was I talking about again? Okay, popcorn being nosy and looking at the trailer. So, yeah, he only eats when we get there. At, like, a traffic, like, he never eats when we're moving. Right, guys, because we're on this vacation and we did not think about this, I have come completely unprepared. I don't have my hair stuff, don't have my pony club stuff. It's just still looking complete disaster. We're just pulling up at the yard where the rally is being held and wowzers. I hope they let me do it because I'm wowzers like I'm very unprepared. Well, I'm, I, man, we've never been this unprepared before, have we? No. This is, we, we can't, you can't get any more unprepared than this, guys. You, you it's impossible. <laughs> right, there's my popcorn. of it it is on a grass arena those jump looks those jumps look humongous I hope we are not jumping those <laughs> hey popcorn right popcorn this is a little pep talk okay we want a little bit of control today we don't want that much bolting around the arena try to get over the fences and zoom over them as High as possible, okay? Okay? Slow and steady wins the race, okay? I didn't actually realise it was going to be on grass. I thought it was going to be in an arena. So now I am slightly regretting my bridle and bit choice. Got our body protector, nothing bad's going to happen. Am I going over? Am I going over the purple? No, no.
good. <laughs> He was absolutely amazing. And yeah, he just rode through all of the jumps with no hesitation, and that's really, really good. And he looked like he was really enjoying himself. The next lesson is on now, so there are a lot of ponies. We're gonna get Popcorn loaded up, and then we're gonna get him back home. And I think he'll be quite sweaty, so we might just give him just a tiny rinse off. guys it is the second day of our holiday and well i've decided today i'm going to give you the full-on tour of the um you like villa thing the hotel basically i'm gonna call it the hotel so you've got this little lawn over here right harlan be careful and run over to that swing and i'll push you because there is a little pond right there and i don't want you to fall in I do you want to get on a horse there yeah we're gonna go look at the horses in a minute. All right, do you wanna get on the swing and I'll push you? All right, there you go. All right, you're gonna sit on it like that, are you? Or are you gonna sit on it properly? I know, I'll stand on it. Oh, uh, it. No, no standing on it, because you might fall off. I won't. Okay, if you do fall off, it's not my fault though. <coughs> no, not that way, Harley. Okay, I'm just holding it. No. I think it's best to sit down, Harlan. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Now I'm ready. Whee! Mm. Hey, yay! Quick, quick, quick! Fritz Charlie! Oh, hey, yo! That's a big horse! <gasps> Cream cracker! <laughs> He's really tiny. Chelsea! Come on! I'll be a little bit quiet, okay? Grimcracker! It's charming! Oh, it's coming out! No, it's not! Are you coming out to no. say hello? Oh, hello, Prince Charming! Oh, come on, Prince Charming! Oh, hello! Oh, hello, Prince Charming! Oh, hello, Prince Charming! Squidgy nose. Right, should we go look at. Right, because the closest thing to here is the gym, so let's go have a look at the gym. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so there's a gym in here. I think it's locked. So this is the tennis court. There is a bike over there, which I think Harleen is heading to. <laughs> but yeah, and you might see that up there is an arena. So this is the arena. And then there are a couple more little like stable pens over there. And this is the playground. I think there's also a little bit of like a greenhouse thing in there, so that's cool. Okay, right, let's go over. Hi, Ayo! Ay. Well, down there! How do I get down there? It's fine. Careful, you your very footprint on here, so... Ah. 
This is the other side of the fence and this is all um, part of the property and this all opens up onto the new forest which is really nice. There's absolutely loads going on over here. It's just really magical and nice. So if you keep on walking up this way, it will take you straight onto the new forest national park. So that's really, really nice. Let's go have a little explore up here. Where is actually Harlan? So, this is like a little campsite. There's a TP tent over there. And then there's this like den over here. This is cool. I think this is meant for bonfires. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh wow. What is it? This is really nice. Ow. Wow. <coughs> hmm. This is the, this is the, this is the, Guys, I've got to show you this. Look at little cream cracker. Oh, hello. Look at his tiny little stable. This is what the normal stables look like. And then this is what cream cracker stable looks like. Oh. Right, guys. Well, it has moved on in the day now. I am dressed. I've been for a swim. You know, everything's good. I've had a shower. Um, We've picked up some chips because um, in about an hour we're going to go to the beach with popcorn. Probably said this, um, but we found someone to go with. We're going to take the chips to the yard now. We're going to eat them all there. We're going to load popcorn up and then off to the beach we go. Mum's actually started editing this vlog because it's just going to take quite a long time to edit because it's going to be quite long. We were actually debating whether to do this in two parts. We've been discussing it today, so... But we went with my vote, which is a long one, because I don't like waiting for one part to come out and then the other part to come out. So, yeah, we've actually got the trailer hitched up to the car now um, because it's just easier and quicker. All of the tack and everything's in there. All we need to do... He's got a popcorn in there. We've got the chips and now we are going to eat them. Oh, and then we're going to eat the popcorn. If you come to England, you have got to go to a fish and chip shop. It's just so nice. So guys, we have finished the chips. I'm just walking to go see a popcorn. I don't see a head poking out the stable door. Oh wait, I see him, here he is, here's popcorn. <laughs> so now I'm just walking outside to um, bring the ramp down off the trailer. Let's see if I can bring it down because I'm very small. Small me. <laughs> This back one comes down quite easily. It's the side one that comes down quite difficult. But yeah, I tidied it up a little bit. We've got poop scoop, water, chairs, hay net. And that's all good, good, good. I only put just like the li a little bit of hay in there. Yeah, last night I was actually gonna clean the poop scoop because it is Fell off. Anyway, that's disgusting. Um, but it was quite late, so we just had to leave. Popcorn. Yes. Mm. His mouth is so soft because my mum found the bit butter. 
Did you put it on a mirror's mouth? It's so soft. You happy or sad? Because you've got one ear forward and one ear back. Oh, happy? Yay. Squidgy, squidgy. <laughs> Right, it's time to put Popcorn's boots on. He can stay in the stable for that because there's no need to really take him out. I'm trying to be as stable as I possibly can so you guys aren't wobbling around, but... <sighs> My arms aren't the stablest. Well, they should be because holding Popcorn back is quite hard and I should have quite strong hands. So, time to find the travel boots. <laughs> I only used them yesterday. Oh, look there, there. I'm so surprised that I found them because everything is just in a mess. Um, look at that. That is all popcorns. Even that. Not the washing machine though. Um, yeah, I think like it. You can just see it as I'm walking out. Look, everyone else's shop is so tidy, and I was just like, I was just having a complete, um, you know, doing its own thing. There's popcorn. He's just having this so it lines his stomach before we ride. That's another small one. That means this one is a big one. Big ones at the back, small ones at the front. I had to learn them the hard way, sadly. Wrong foot. Don't think that needs washing because that is um, already very clean. Oh, do you still want to? Do you want to lick it even more? Popcorn absolutely loves this. <laughs> right, let's go to the beach and let's know to you. Take a fast, fast walk. him up because he's very high up for me. We have a run! Oh, the grass. I'm just going to let him look at the beach. No. Get used to it a little bit. Down here. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Let Margo go first. We've right. got... Got a sandwich. What sort of sandwich Right, popcorn quality in my beach. We are, we are all matching the beach hut, which is very, very cool but oddly strange. So, alright. Okay. Ah, you're standing on my toe, popcorn. You're standing on my toe. Same thing. Okay, right, let's mount. So we have the lovely Margot here and Steph. And Margot is a very, very chilled mare. So hopefully this goes well because popcorn, popcorn's like, oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? And Margot's just like, oh, what a lovely day it is. It's they're the complete opposites. One is a hyper pony and one is an absolutely chilled pony. So. Let's see how this goes, because they're two completely different ponies. Whoa, whoa, popcorn. And we're shotting. Just sitting here wondering why are so many people looking at us? But then again, but then again, we are riding ponies on the beach. Come on, popcorn. Good boy. Really blaming if they don't want to go in, but still, it would be amazing if they did. Oh, yeah. It would be quite fun to jump, wouldn't it? 
if popcorn bolts off, will you come after me? <laughs> I mean, she's an ex polo pony, so. But then he's a hyper 13 too. It's warp this time. want to get into the sea, I'm going to get a Margo. I've never ridden um, a polo pony before, so thought, no, no, like just like, just Western riding kind yeah, of. Don't Western ride, but I'll walk with you anyway. Okay, right, do I get off now? Yeah, you come off. Okay, popcorn. <laughs> yes, Betty, Betty. Oh wow, she's tall. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Oh my god, this is so fun! Popcorn, look! It's fine! Good girly! Oh, she's amazing! <laughs> oh, you are a funny pony, Popcorn. Let's find something else, shall we? <laughs> For some reason, I want to try jumping that. <laughs> Did she jump it? Right, no pony sandwich this time, popcorn. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So it's just the next day, and I am here to talk to you guys about how amazing the beach was last night with this little man. Yes, it was absolutely amazing. We were supposed to do a gentle canter. That turned into a full-on gallop. But yeah, Popcorn really loved it. 
So we didn't get back till quite late last night, so we didn't have a chance to bath him. We just had to go straight to bed. And I, if you're wondering why Popcorn's face is very wet, I've been using this sponge. We're going to get him all clean. <laughs> and we're going to use this um, Nath Citronella wash. And it's refreshing, naturally scented, no rinse body for horses. So this is great for the flies and it is very hot today so this will be absolutely amazing so it'll keep all of those little flies away from you last, last, last night was just so good it was definitely the fastest that i've ever been on a horse <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I can't like the kisses. Let's get this pony washed. So before um, I put the citronella on him, I'm going to use the tea tree and mint all over his body to get him nice and clean and smelling nice. And then we'll go over with the citronella after to keep all of those flares away from you. He was just so sweaty last night. I don't want him to be left with all of that sweat on. And his nose is so soft now. He is all wet. <laughs> He is all nice and clean now and I'm going to ride him bare back to the field. Let's see if I can make this because it's quite far away. Whoa. We bathed him in quite cool water so it was nice and refreshing. Yes, it was nice and refreshing for you. Good boy, Pop got on. Oh. Popcorn is definitely going to roll after that bath, but oh, my legs are now covered in popcorn hair. <laughs> oh my god. Right. That was interesting. Oh, he's walking away. What's he going to do? He's peeing right where the hay is. And he's eating whilst he's peeing. <laughs> oh, poor. oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh, lovely, lovely popcorn. Thanks. Oh. oh, my hard work. My hard work has gone to pieces. Where are you going now, Popcorn? Give that roll again. So guys, sadly that is the end of the staycation vlog. It was just an absolutely lovely experience and I just love being so close to Popcorn and getting up early in the morning. I say early, but it wasn't that early. Just, you know, just you know, going to popcorn and having like night swims and going like morning swims. It was just really, really nice. We were blessed with amazing weather. Thank you, England. We have finally got nice weather. I think it's supposed to be a heat wave. So I'm going to have an amazing summer because throughout the whole summer, it's practically going to be raining. <laughs> and there's been no clouds. Thank you so much for watching. Time to get on to filming the next vlog and I'll see you next time. Bye.